Welcome to Papa Junk Shop. Well, I got a new microphone to try out. I had another one and it never worked out. And finally found one that I think is going to work good. So, I'm going to give that a try in this video. And as a lot of you that watch my channel know, my LV6548 inverter works excellent. I'm really happy with it. It's been running for almost a year and a half never misses a beat uh, but I don't have a backup and I didn't really think I could afford another one of those just for a backup um, so I've been watching for something on sale and the Palmister stuff they had a pre Black Friday sale which actually had better prices than the Black Friday sale. So I decided to, to get the 5,000 watt, 48 volt, low frequency inverter and give that a try. And what I plan on doing is I'm gonna get this set up and actually mount it on the wall and run it as my inverter and have the LV65 as a backup for a while. That way I get to see how this performs and uh, get familiar with it and just overall see how I like it. Now I've got the little 3000 watt power mister that runs my shop here and it's going, well it's been going a couple of years now at least and it never misses a beat either. So, the FedEx guy just dropped it off. So we'll get her opened up, see what she looks like. I can't find any videos except the ones that uh, Palmister makes where anybody really shows it in operation. I mean, you know, they show it running, but they don't get into any kind of detail or anything. So I thought maybe I could could do that. So, so I guess maybe I better turn it around right side up. Lower this down a little bit, maybe it'll be a better. Yeah. Got some decent packing, it's that nice high density foam stuff. And let's see. Operator's manual. Now, I previously downloaded it. Uh, beforehand and printed it out in bigger print for you know us old guys. Um, got a little package with something in it here. So we got some mounting hardware and a Fuse. Okay. Now, I'm going to shut you down while I struggle getting that out of the box. It's heavy. Okay, you got it wrestled out of the box. You got a pretty nice uh, wiring diagram here that was laying on the bottom of the box. Got some charts for your sizes of breakers and wires and all that stuff. So, and they're awful skimpy with their information. And I didn't see where it ever said, but there's a bracket that you put on the wall and you can hang it up. A lot easier, a lot easier than fighting with those uh, two loops up at the top. Oh boy, the sucker is heavy. I'll show you on the back. 
this bracket right here. Put this on the wall, and that'll just hang like that. And there's two spots here to fasten the bottom portion. Oh, there's a handle there. Should have seen that earlier. <laughs> okay. A transformer's in the top end. That's heavier, so grab a screwdriver and we'll get this wiring compartment open. Looks like there's uh, two screws on the side and two on the bottom. pull down and comes right off. Okay, so see if I can get you a little better view. Let me jack the table up. Hopefully that'll be a little better. I can pop this down a little bit too. Alrighty, so we got... Uh, it says input breaker, 230 volt. Well, this is supposed to be a 120 volt model. AC output, 110 volts. AC input, 110 volts, it says on the tag. So, why they got a double breaker here, I don't know. But we got the uh, hot neutral and ground in, and the uh, hot neutral and ground out. The PV input, two lugs for your plus and minus, and uh, <coughs> that fuse, and these uh, ports to enter your cables. I, I don't like those. Um, I like to have something where I can secure the cables. I mean, you know, there's nothing there to secure it. You got a little protection from the metal around it. But, you... anyways, I'm going to make a box to go below it. And I'll show you guys that as I make it. And we do have, uh, if you've got the batteries that you can communicate with, it does do that. And there's RS-232. I think you can hook... Uh, computer up to here and probably that's probably where the Wi-Fi dongle will plug into which I didn't order and you've got uh, contacts for running various things maybe starting a generator or something so got a couple of fans So that's just kind of a quick look-see. Let me take you off the tripod here. 
and give you a view of the inside. This is the AC in and out. They're all labeled. This will be the PV connection. Your battery lugs. And this is where that fuse is. It's a 200 amp, it says. So to look at it, it looks fine. Um, I'm going to get some batteries and hook them up temporary here on the bench and make sure it all works before I go to all the trouble to get it installed. So give me a while and I'll be back and we'll flip the power switch. Well, I did find some damage. When I went to move it to make room for some batteries, I found uh, three heads of screws. Right here. And they go right here. They've been broken off. So this is part of the, the top of the case, I believe. I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna put it on its side and... If I take the rest of these screws out, I may be able to slide this cover off and then I can get a look in here and see if these, make sure there isn't any pieces down inside. Although when I was rolling around here on the table, I didn't hear any loose components inside, but um, it does have a warranty seal here. So I don't want to break that. It's, it's still intact. So. I might be able to get this one panel off there and look and see at the other end of these. So, give me a few minutes, we'll do that. Well, I was able to get that cover off, no problem. And there is damage, unfortunately. You can see that big tor torbrodial, yeah, however you say that, has been torn loose from its mounting. It's right up against the case. <laughs> yeah, turn the camera sideways for you guys, huh? <laughs> so, I guess uh, at this point I better get a hold of them, see what we're going to do about it. It's kind of disappointing. I was looking forward to firing this thing up. I don't know why the shippers can't be a little more gentle with stuff.